The Transport Minister says he won't let job losses affect standards at Queensland Rail. But Scott Emerson has demanded savings, although he won't predict how many jobs will go. Like all ministers, Scott Emerson is under the Premier's orders to find savings. He's passed the instruction on to Queensland Rail. The increases under QR's budget in the last two years have been in the corporate areas in the head office. And that's why I've said to them, it's not good enough. You need to focus on frontline delivery of services. He won't comment on reports that the target is 30% or 2,000 staff. This government wants to rip the guts out of Queensland Rail. If you rip the guts out of Queensland Rail, you are ripping the guts out of regional Queensland as well. Mr Emerson says he won't allow QR to compromise safety. When they've come back to me in terms of savings and said, oh, we'll find savings by axing guards off trains, I said no. He just won't say what the savings will be. No one believes the Transport Minister when he says he does not know how many jobs are going in Queensland Rail. QR isn't the only agency to be reduced. Cuts are happening throughout the public service. The public sector union is planning strikes and rallies in its campaign against job losses. Teachers rallied last month. Others will protest in a couple of weeks. Clearly there is a, a culture of fear and anxiety within the public service at the moment, but that's also being matched by the anger in relation to what are fundamental changes to the nature of government in this state. Stoppages could follow. At this stage we can't take industrial action, um, but that is being considered by members for August and September this year. Just in time for the first Newman budget. Chris O'Brien, ABC News.